Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And I have a big update for all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally moving into version 2 of LearnCodeOnline.in. You might be asking, what is version 2? Now, in case you have watched my previous video, I have always told you that version 1 is always bad. It's not that much polished, it's not that much awesome feeling and all that. But as soon as you progress, you work on onto a product, keep going on with that, it automatically gets evolved. It becomes beautiful, it becomes so much amazing. And on that particular track, we are finally on to the version 2 of Learn Code Online. I'm not saying this is the most perfect version, obviously in the future it's going to grow up quite a lot. But with this, I have a couple of announcements to make. So let's get started with the number one. First update is a big update in our Android app. Now you might have seen that previously I have rolled out an Android app that was okay, not good, but it was just doing its job. Not so much perfect, but again, it was just a beta test and nothing is awesome at the version one. So finally, we have a better updated app. This app is faster, much more awesome in performance, much more awesome in UI, UX and readability perspective as well. Within this app, you'll be now able to log in with the Facebook, with the Google and your regular email login will also work. Yes, I am aware that a lot of you face some issues with the Google login. And yes, I do hear a lot about all of the things that you are saying. And a lot of people just post the reviews, a lot of people just message me personally or post on my Facebook wall. I read all of that and that is why we have much better and all the problems of Google login are now being resolved. Apart from the login, we have now also introduced the in-app purchase from the Google. A lot of people who are not from India are also being saying that, hey, we want to make a purchase, we are not able to do so. So yes, finally, from within the app, using in-app purchase, you can do your purchase and everything. Yes, the debit cards and everything on the website will remain exactly same. So yes, the topmost priority uh, was to solve the problem of Indian user that is still here and we have already uh, worked quite a lot on it. And finally, the Indian users will be able to just purchase like whatever they were doing existingly. That's completely okay. But now all the other people will be able to purchase those courses uh, from within the app as well. And apart from purchasing things, everything is flawless and smooth. Uh, you'll be able to see what is the course content, what is the validity of the course, what are the common FAQs in the course, as well as you'll be able to watch videos, make notes, as well as discuss in the discussion section. The discussion section in the app has been improved quite a lot. And this means I'll be able to hang out into the discussion section of all the courses more often because it's now in the app and while traveling or onto the airport, I'm able to just see the discussion section and I'll be able to answer more frequently and more often there. This simply means more awesome courses and more support and I'll be personally there with you. In case you already have the Learn Code Online app, that's awesome, go ahead, do the update. And in case you still don't have the Learn Code Online app, I'll leave a link in the description as well as on the screen. Go ahead, download the app, make sure you throw some kind ratings. It's because all of your support that we are moving into such a big update. Update number two. Finally, we have a brand new website for LearnCodeOnline.in. This website is much more optimized for the mobile users and you'll be able to find links easily, like the links for the blog, links for the Android app or other such things is far more easier. On the website version, the desktop version of the website, I have introduced the learning paths so that you can find out that, hey, I want to go into web development or I want to learn Android development, which are the most courses that I should be taking up. So all these things are making much more senses. Also, most important part is the FAQs. I have included a lot of FAQs that were the common questions about the platform, about some courses, common questions like Mac versus Windows, or should I buy which Mac laptop, which Android laptop, or Windows laptop. Uh, all these things are actually sorted out and are placed at one single place, that is FAQ. Now these are not just the only FAQs, this will get evolved as we progress and probably we can do something more bigger than this. So this will be a common place to hang out and see most of your common questions so that you can get answered quickly. By the way, the FAQs are also being added into each and every courses so that most of your common question can, can be answered directly there. Whether it's a common question like for the iOS users or the Apple course user, it's a common question that can I take this course on Windows and my honest answer is no, I don't recommend that. So all these things are already being added 
in each and every course into the FAQ section. Third and update for all the iOS user. I know a lot of iOS users were complaining that, hey, in the very, very quick uh, span of time, you have released two updates for the Android app, but still not even a single app for the iOS. Yes, I have been hearing for you and uh, I have actually finally replied it by saying that yes, it's gonna come up very soon. I have already started working on the iOS app and very soon you're gonna see the iOS app as well. I promise you it's gonna come up, but yes, things actually take sometimes a little bit of the time with work and all these things to manage around, but new excuses for that. I'm working every single day for it and very soon I'll make a video updating all of you that yes, iOS app is also gonna come up. Wait for it, it's gonna come up. LearnCodeOnline.in is a successful project uh, that is all being successful because of you. And really I want to give you some of the inside stats that are going on at LearnCode Online. And finally at LearnCode Online we have crossed almost more than 10,000 registered users. And these are all students who are crazy about learning. Uh, they spend a huge amount of time on the website. And with that I see almost every single day at least 2,000 regular visitors are there on every single day. And if I'll just take on to a weekly stats, uh, it becomes insanely high. Now all these 10,000 registered user, I, I really don't care what kind of course they are purchasing, what is their uh, choice of learning, whether it's Java or JavaScript or Android or iOS. All I care about is they are very keen and very interested in learning. And I have proved it here that at Learn Code Online, I don't impose any kind of fear learning. I impose inspiring learning. When people are inspired to learn, they learn actually. I'm not imposing any 75% compulsory attendance or I'm not imposing any kind of compulsory assignment. Still every single day, I receive at least 50 assignment submission, whether it's a web application, just a simple code, or maybe a screenshot of iOS app or Android app. Every single day, more than 50. This is a big number where I'm not saying that, hey, you have to compulsory attend your class or I have to, I don't have to say, hey, it's compulsory to submit that assignment and still students are learning. That is the difference between the fear learning and something known as inspiring learning. So I request all of the teachers all around the globe, all universities, hey, don't impose the fear learning. Students learn their best when they are inspired, not being feared. And honestly, I can say, in your face attendance rule we have actually imposed a successful learning system here at learn code online just with inspiring things and i'm really happy to see that students are making such a big progress students are reaching to the app store students are reaching to the google play store their own website their own portfolio getting jobs only because of their skills i'm not making any placements or anything here but since they have their knowledge they have something that they can show to the users they are getting jobs and everything. I'm really thrilled and excited uh, to share all of these updates. For sure, we have to grow up quite a lot and there is a long journey to carry out. And I'm pretty sure all of you are gonna be with me in this amazing journey. This has all been possible because of you. Your trust in me and I have been working really hard. I promise that with your support, the love that is coming up, I'll work even harder to give you more awesome content, more awesome inspiration so that you can learn and become something amazing and can reach to your dream Silicon Valley, whether it's in India, in China, in States, wherever that is, reach to your dream. I would request you today, all of you, to show some love to this app as well as website. Share the link of this app to all of your Facebook and Twitter accounts. It really means a lot to me. Share the Learn Code Online app in case you haven't yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do hit subscribe. We talk about programming and tech throughout this channel. And I'll surely catch you up in the next video. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real.